115A Salem Street. Salem Group LLC has purchased the business supporting the Napoli Cafe. That's the plan. The licensing board prepares a malt wine liquor license to operate cafe. Okay. Something's coming. Are you changing the signage? The signage will change eventually. 
It will be kept on the, the same, probably the same, uh, no, so the same size? No neon. Uh, no, no, the, way, the, same, the, the same part where it is right now, but it will change the name. The name will be from Sabori de Napoli to uh, Rigoletto. And we'll go through you, if I can, you know, PDF, you Correct. guys, yeah. definitely. And what are the hours? The hours tend to, what are the they same hours. The same hours, yeah, yeah. from 12.30, that's the license. 10 to 12.30 p.m.? Yeah. Seven nights a week? Seven nights a week. Do you already have to No. They can, they can no. The city. That the 8th, January, got to go. January 8th? Yeah, I think so. January 8th. Do you, is there a you know, wine license involved? Or? It's via wine in Georgia. Mm -hmm. We still have to, we're working with Mr. Kubiak currently. And we're looking forward to meeting him uh, on Monday or Tuesday next week. So that should be you know, the next step. And then okay. beginning of January 8th. Will cooking be taking place in the premises or just preparation, putting together foods? We'll be we'll be the same in the same premises, but they, right now currently it's an open over there, so we don't plan it to like get more coming or anything like that. We just want to keep whatever is in there and, and, and work with the oven that is currently over there with that menu. That's why we we decide to go with that menu, which is easy, and we can uh, do the prep inside the, the place. It's, it doesn't require any fry or anything like that. Yes, the oven. Is the condo association approved franchise? Yes. Yeah. You have you have a letter or anything? Yeah, the letter. Association? Yeah, I can email you that right away. That you have outdoor patio services at the end your client? Patio services. No, no. Okay. No, no. no. There's no, no space. There's no space over that either for a patio. It's so. the same, but the same the way it's in. It's nothing changed. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Being new to, to the neighborhood, um, there are some issues and concerns, of course, that we have with, you know, having so many restaurants, and that's um, extermination and trash, and I mean, I assume that you have everything in order, and you know, have all your contracts in order. And, Mr. Yeah. Vincenzo has uh, allied uh, waste systems, and I wanted to ask you if that is a company that, you know, is reputable, yeah, otherwise we will just definitely change it. And we'll be, he'll be, uh, the president will be renewing that contract with Elliott Systems. Cool. Uh, so part of what we do whenever we uh, hear an uh, application for a transfer license is to find out about the new manager and what their qualifications are to be running a business for the liquor license. So can you talk a little bit about sure. that? Sure. The uh, manager of the business is Ms. Um, ah. Clara, and uh, she's still married. Clara and, uh, and Mr. Patino. And uh, if you can tell us more about your background. Sure. Well, um, I currently am involved in business consulting um, with uh, businesses in the Somerville area, um, starting entrepreneurs. Um, yeah, as far as my experience in the restaurant management industry, um, Alex is currently, um, with all his experience, currently mentoring me personally, as well as I'm involved in a um, food and beverage management course, as well as a liquor license, um, aware, liquor awareness course. Um, and, you know, I have all the willingness to learn. I, um, this is pretty much our dream come true. Um, and with mentoring, and as well as the education that I'm getting right now, I think that, um, you know, and as well as my husband, who has um, experience as an accountant for restaurants in the East Boston, Revere area, um, I think that we're, we're going to make yeah. it a success. Alex has the serve serve uh, food preparation uh, certification, but she went at great lengths. She's, she told me, she's like, I want to get into this. I need to know everything there is about because God forbid something happens to Alex or whatever happens. You know, I want to be involved. She, she basically, she enrolled herself into the, the program, so she's going to be certified for food, food preparation services. Service I'm going to be along the way service as a council. Service 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 service. Service. But not like took certification or any like alcohol training. The, the uh, alcohol uh, awareness <coughs> training that the Massachusetts Restaurant Association provides. She signed up for that. Well, both, yeah. So, so, in so, so will you will you be there every night yeah. until closing? Yeah. Cool. yeah. And, and you're gonna stay open okay. seven days a week. Right. Cool. We're gonna keep the same hours as we said before. We don't want to change anything. Exactly. Nobody the investment, as it shows in there, is almost a quarter million dollars. 
know, trying to put all the uh, all the effort, all the hours, every whatever it needs to to happen to make this a reality, without you know putting you in discomfort. And you have the, uh, the people that do not object to you for the restaurant. You have signatures there. Oh yes. Of course, yes, yes. You said you have experience in some of them. Do you, do you own other restaurants? No, no. Um, consulting with small businesses in Somerville, but no, I do not own them. Do, do you do you feel do you feel like okay giving us the name of some of the other establishments that? Sure, absolutely. Well, some um, some of the small business owners, um, truly good designs, uh, the Artisans Asylum, um, and there's some small businesses in there that I work with as well. Um, I can provide references. Okay. She has a book of not restaurants, just no, not restaurants. restaurants. Correct. But she's, uh, as I said, she has the backup of uh, uh, Mr. Alex Herrera and the other client. Uh, I've been I've been in this business for over uh, 16 years already. Uh, I used to work at Magianos in downtown Boston as a chef for eight years. Mm -hmm. And then I worked at Joe's American Bar in Rio for three years as a chef. Uh, and I've been working in Antonia's restaurant in Riviera as a secretary chef. Uh, I've been there for uh, over six years already. So. It's a good support. It's a good team. Mr. Patino is a corporate uh, accountant. He does big firms, uh, tax pro, he does a metro, laundry services in the automatic uh, laundry, you know, done many, many places, so big accounts. We have the background, you know, the financial done, and this is a good support as for management, you know, wherever she lacks, you know, she he can provide. And I'll be throughout, you know, this whole process available to them, making sure they're in compliance, you guys are, you know, informed of anything. What, is, what attracted you, out of just curiosity, what attracted you to the North End to operate your, your business? Well, yeah, we recently took a trip to Italy, and so we fell in love with the food. We did the whole uh, Florence, Venice, uh, Rome uh, tour, and so we became in love with the food, and we said, you know, we, we would really love the opportunity to have an Italian restaurant, and the opportunity presented itself. Recently, we, uh, we had a visitation for a chef, famous chef in Italy, and he was working at my restaurant for over a month, teaching me the right cooking in Italy, because as you know, uh, we tend to uh, change things a little bit around here in America and cook a little bit different from them. And since I've been working with Italian food for over 15 years, I love, that's my passion. So I really want to get excited and get a, like a different twist and see how they cook. And, it's, and believe me, it's a, real, a little bit different, you know? They cook really, really, uh, really well. So one, one thing I would just say is, you know, uh, is, you know, we have some very successful restaurant owners here in the room, and you know, one of the things um, that they've all done is given back to the community, whether or not they're running fundraisers for the schools or, you know, cases in North End. So just as, you know, business owners, I mean, I feel like you could also, you know, whenever there's an opportunity, I know it's hard at first, at first, but to be involved in the community as well. That is important because yeah. the Greater Boston Food Bank, that's one of the primary uh, uh, places where they have been involved, you know, as volunteers and, you know, and that that, that is a good uh, insight. But uh, uh, what you're saying is, you know, we have all the willingness to participate in any type of um, fundraising, fundraising or yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Like we have, you know, 100% willingness to want to be part of this community. I have just one more question. These were all the letters sent to residents. Residents, trustees, so, and tenants. If you read the beginning of this, yes. you have notified the residents that you have you are transferring a license. Yes. There is nothing here that you say to transfer a license and putting a cafe. That's how it was redacted by Mr. Cook. She means expand, expand, yeah. expand the menu. That's what she means. Oh, details. I can do that. Trips, I can do that before. You know, I know yes. the, the, the thing is that with the new menu, mm -hmm. you're you're a restaurant. You're yes. not a cafe anymore. And what Marie, if I can say, you, I think is saying is that she feels as though um, people may have may feel a little yes. bit deceived yes. when you are now running a full fully operating restaurant, basically and your license was supposed to be transferred to a cafe as, as is a coffee shop. So I think that that's what the point is here. Okay. I can so there's a little bit of deception there. 
that was now now you're you so far you just were probably mistaken right. right. exactly right. Mr. Kubiak is so heavily he right. was the one who redacted the letter right. with me and I, sure. and we went back and forth like a couple of times he basically he gave us the okay because uh, Steve too I sent a letter to Steve yeah. before he went on vacation it's he told me he oh, okay he told me you know this is what you have to do this is what you have to write I went strictly by what he indicated I gave him the copy of everything so I'm sorry that was you know I don't mean to deceive or anything but you're, you're transferring the license just to a restaurant like Mauricio coffee not a coffee shop. Shop. just a coffee shop well, it's not like right. a full fledged you know pasta marinara or parmigiano okay, so or anything like that we just want to right. do something different to attract people. I'm confused. With the salad, it's not going to be a full cooking show. Yeah, it's not, it's not cooking be, because it's an oven over there. We just want to keep so that oil. We don't add it like burgers. So. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Yes, yes. for a second. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vincenzo. Okay. So, we talk for analysis. You sell the business to these folks okay. over here. And they're going to expand the cafe menu. So, they have, you, have, you have a cafe there now that sells gelato and pastries. And they want to expand the cafe menu using the existing equipment. The reason why I bring this up is because, as you know, the Con Association does not want a restaurant there. Okay? So that's been addressed with the Con Association. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, all right. Do we have the letter from the Con Association approved? I give it to them. I give it to them. Do we have it? Is it like one of the letters? Is it there? Did you somewhere? give it to Walsh? Uh, Look on the paper. What I can do is email. Can I email Stephen or you guys? I can do that tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, we need to decide tonight. That's the only issue that, that you know. That I can't give it tomorrow because we have a letter, whatever. But we need to vote tonight. Tonight. Can you call someone? Or? I got a call. What about the letter? The letter I give it to Elaine. Tell him to send it to Elaine. You think for the letter? The language to um, operate the transfer to operate a cafe and coffee shop. You're saying that was given to you by who gave the language to use? Well, the, the city, we went, we, the city we went to the city, that's how we that's how I got the case 10 days ago from another uh, attorney. And at the city from uh, what's his name, Leo? Yeah, Nicole Leo. Yeah, Nicole Leo. We went to the hearing on the, on the 28th, and everything was set up like that. So that we're following the, whatever procedure it is. And then, as I said, I sent the, the letter to Steve. I sent it to Mr. Kubiak. He closed, approved the letter to the Mr. Kubiak is very, uh, you know, he wants, he wants, he's very hands-on. So he's like, show me the letter. I need to get that going, but I need to see it first. You send it. I give you the okay. You send it with my approval. He said, okay, no problem. I was going to send two different letters, one to you and the other organization, but he's like, no, just I want everything in one. Yes. Hands-on. If they send it to yeah. yeah, it should be there. Okay, thank you. So did the city kind of in the rep? Did they see this like menu they kind of gave that guidance or do you approach them? The menu was just done like uh, basically today to give you like an insight as to what we have in mind. That, you know, that was just made out of, you know, I'm trying to help you guys in vision. I didn't mean to say the word, you know, to see, but yes. I just, it was a question. It was just a question. I can, as I said, I can send that, I can uh, change the letter. I don't want to still copy it, so okay, but I'll send that, you know, for the next meeting on Tuesday that I have with, uh, with the NEW. You're talking about David Kubiak? Mr. Kubiak, yes. Yeah. So, does anybody else from the council have any questions? No? Or anybody from the audience have questions? I think, I'm not telling you what to do there, but one thing says the coffee shop, and, and that suggests the venue suggests a restaurant. It says cafe slash coffee shop. Frankie Oponino doesn't offer that much food. This place. Doesn't, uh, doesn't Boston Beans, Boston Beans have a restaurant? Yeah, they have a restaurant. Yeah, they have a restaurant. Yeah, they have a restaurant. Is it table service? Table service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, he's had a, a coffee shop there for, for many years now. Okay. Uh, for uh, 11 years. Yeah. And then, you know, they bake the Italian pastries and cakes. And I saw some tables. It's not like full of tables. I right? saw like 10 maybe huh? when I was there. Not too many. And 
yeah. some uh, stools because I think he has like a little bar at the back. Mm -hmm. So am I, am I correct in that we're waiting for this letter from Yes, we just sent it right now. Yes. Okay. It's already been purchased. You guys have already purchased. The operation of it. The only thing that is that yeah. Yeah, we're voting on is the change of the liquor license. Correct. Correct. It's holding us back there. So it's well, you know, there. Right. It's not so much that we're voting on whether or not those are the things you serve, it's whether or not we're approving or transfer of the liquor license. Right. Exactly. Just the liquor license transfer. You know, and any anything else. Hmm? The liquor license transfer. Right. Liquor license. Just, just as I said, it's just a proposed menu that's nothing written in stone or anything like that. As long as it doesn't expand the, the kitchen, you know, we don't want anything like that, you know, to disturb traffic and it's so hard to park away there or anything like that. I spoke to them about that because they, you know, they allows it for 40, it allows you for 40, uh, uh, the occupancy for 40 people, but, uh, uh, you know, if the worst comes to work, you know, we'll just get a uh, valet parking or anything like that. To be successful. Yeah. We'll, see. We'll, see. We'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll walk before we, walk, we, we run. Yes, baby steps. And that's why I told my client, I said, baby steps. I told this little by little with your support and your help and your welcome. So as we're waiting for this letter to come in, is there any other outstanding questions that anybody wants to, or, or concerns that anybody wants to voice publicly? Publicly. Well, it has to be purchased. Yeah, no, I've already opened it up. If anybody has. Yeah. Have you purchased? Have you purchased the business pending the approval of the transfer of the license? The purchase of the sale is based. It's a, it's a contingency for the. The the if you don't get the license transfer, you don't south. have the business. Okay. Do you have a liquor liability insurance company? You gotta have. We follow whoever his uh, insurance has. We'll, we'll take them. Yeah, we have, we have to. Because there's no way you can. Oh, about well, the noise. Uh, the yeah. we know. Corey, there are two TVs. And the two TVs are going to stay unless, you know, it's close in Brockos or anything like that. There's two TVs that you have, right? Did you have a chance? Everything. You know, five centimeters. Those are open windows. Open windows. Some of them call those open windows, right? Yeah. It's folding window. You should have sent it to you. That's not you. No. Okay. Refresh? I keep refreshing it. My computer's gonna die in a second. It doesn't. Well, I mean, we can we can make a vote contingent upon receiving a letter of approval from from the condo association. So as long as we receive the letter of approval from the condo association, association that'll confirm whatever however we vote. Can I ask a question about that? Uh, Go ahead. So I didn't. I just caught a, a general implication that the condo association has previously said they don't want a restaurant there. So what was it that you that you did to convince them that now the restaurant is okay? Or at least the the we got the letter from the condo association. What did, did you have any talks to say? Okay, yeah. oh you did because they previously said they don't want a restaurant there. Yeah. I don't know. I just got the impression that the condo association. That? Well, I just got the impression from the council that there was a the condo association. Association had expressed a desire not to have food service there. My and son, the I, I served one. food over there. I went to two years ago. Okay, I take it off. At one time, did they yeah. not want food there? I, I serve food over there. I can serve food. I know, I know. Because I go to your restaurant, I know. But did they say they didn't want the food going in there once? No, there was nobody said that. All right, so there was no objection from the condo no. All right, I don't know where I got the impression, but now I don't know. I said that. Huh? So, I, I was on the other person.
Yeah. 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 So, part of the Con Association, just ask for the support of the Con Association. That's all. We have all the other things. So we can put it, we can put a contingent upon the receival receiving this letter of support. So if, um, however we vote, if we receive it, then it'll confirm the vote. If we don't receive it, then we'll have to go to the city and let them know that um, it, it wasn't. Well, yeah. Charge it tomorrow. Huh? I can yeah. I'll make that. So you can send it to um, Stephen, and I'll give you another email that you can also send it to. Um, so, you know, if we have a, if anyone has a motion or, so what's on the table is uh, transferring the license, malt, wine, and liquor license um, to the Salem group from Superior to Napa. Right? Support. Yeah. Support. Subject to approval of the con Subject to approval of the letter from the con your motion. So all in favor? No, we have to second. Oh, sorry about that. I'm on Does anybody second? Motion on the floor to approve. Anybody second this? I'll second the motion to support the petition to transfer the K1 license contingent upon the, uh, the approval of the Condor Association uh, to you know, put a, a cafe. We've had a motion uh, to support, we've had a second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? All opposed? What was that kind of six to two? Six to two. So you sent us the letter? Yes. Once you receive the letter, then uh, the motion is done. It's approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.